In the last 24, 48 hours, there have been quite a few stories that have not gotten a ton of coverage in the mainstream media. Um, as former White House Press Secretary Ari Fleischer said, bias is often found in stories the press does not cover. And last week, we found out that Democrat Congressman Eric Swalwell was infiltrated by an alleged Chinese spy. This spy cozied up to Swalwell, raised funds for his 2014 campaign, and even planted an intern in his office. And that relationship continued until the FBI briefed him in 2015. And that was some very good reporting done by Axios. Um, but after entangling with this spy for years, Swalwell hypocritically went on to be one of the lead instigators of the Russia collusion hoax in the impeachment sham. Swalwell wrote this on his congressional webpage. President Trump and his team are directly and indirectly tied to Russia. That was not true. He then said in September of 2020, the president has a compromised relationship with Russia. Untrue. April of 2019, he said President Trump certainly acts on Russia's behalf and acts like Russia's leader. Not true. Uh, January 2019, Eric Swalwell said it's pretty clear President Donald Trump is an agent of Russia. Not true. And Swalwell shamelessly claimed Donald Trump Jr. and Jared Kushner had an eagerness and a willingness to work with the Russians during the 2016 election. Again, it was false. Um, in 2019, he falsely claimed this yet again when inquired about collusion by a reporter. And these baseless attacks were false, yet covered breathlessly by the media. Uh, there was no coverage, however, of Swalwell being the one implicated with not Russia, but China. In fact, the New York Times website, as of this morning, had not one result for Eric Swalwell's ties to Chinese spies. Not one result. And when the Swalwell story broke, guess how many minutes of coverage it got on ABC, NBC, MSNBC, and CBS? Zero. CNN devoted three minutes and 16 seconds to it. Um, however, it was covered on Fox. 